Why all who smokes do not get cancer? Lung cancer is the second most common type of cancer in men and women, exceeded only by prostate cancer and breast cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in both men and women, accounting for a quarter of all cancer deaths. Lung cancer survival depends heavily on the point in which the disease is diagnosed. Smoking is considered as the main cause of lung cancer. But all smokers even if they are heavy smokers, do not get cancer, why? Researchers from the University of North Carolina School of Medicine have mapped DNA damage caused by smoking, a finding that could help scientists better understand how smoking-induced cancers originate, and how they can be prevented. The study is published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, on May 11, 2017. Nobel laureate Dr. Aziz Sankar, is the study researcher and Wen Tao Li, Ph.D., is the lead author of the study. The research team has succeeded in developing a useful technique for mapping sites on the genome that are undergoing repair due to damage caused by benzoalpha-pyrindiolipoxide, BPDA. This particular carcinogen is a byproduct of burning organic material, such as smoking tobacco. The team believe that better understanding the exact damage caused by BPDA will help scientists better understand how smoking-related cancers begin and why some people are more vulnerable or resistant to certain cancers, and how these cancers can be prevented. BPDA is a carcinogen that accounts for about 30% of the cancer deaths. This raises the awareness of how harmful smoking can be. Now the scientists have a detailed genome-wide map of the damage caused by BPDA. The exact knowledge of how DNA damage is repaired throughout the entire genome, will be helpful to drug developers. When tobacco leaves are burned, it releases a compound called benzoalpha-pyrene, BAP. When BAP enters our body, it is synthesized to create BPDA. This compound then binds to our genes, making it difficult for them to function effectively. Eventually, the damage caused by BPDA can cause genetic mutations that could lead to cancer. If a BPDA adduct occurs in a tumor suppressor gene and isn't repaired in a timely manner, it can lead to a permanent mutation that turns a cell cancerous. The new mapping technique allows the researchers to look at the exact sites on the genome that are under repair due to BPDA damage. This allows scientists to better understand the exact dose of the BPDA needed to cause damage, which genes are involved in DNA repair, and areas of the genome where repair is less likely occur. This technique is not limited to reading damage caused by BPDA, but can be used for any type of DNA damage, that uses something called nucleotide excision repair. All these information will lead to a better understanding of why certain people are predisposed to cancer, and which smoking-related mutations lead to lung cancer specifically.